this is not starting well. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> that was so delayed. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is on this very summery inspired kind of very glam daytime, nighttime, whenever you want to wear makeup look. Um, I've used a lot of those like turquoisey colors, and it's very summery sunset. Another one of those, I guess, kind of vibes. I've been obsessed with that kind of sunset crease, if you guys can tell in my previous look. I do really hope you enjoy it. It is a full face today. I've done another full face for you guys using a few different products and things that I haven't used in a little while. But yeah, I do hope you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's head straight into this makeup look. Hope you enjoy. Okay, guys. So first things first, I'm going to get the skin ready for the makeup to be applied over top. So I've already cleansed my skin. And next, I'm going to go in with my Mavox Vitamin C Serum. This is great to help boost the skin, give it a bit of extra kick, good for sun um, protection. Um, it helps like rejuvenate the skin, which is the vitamin C. And it says you can apply it before makeup as well, which I like to do. And then next, I'm going to go in with a bit of loose powder. This is Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just going in with a dab, just a, like a, just a dash, just a tiny, tiny amount, and applying that to my oily area, so my T-zone, center of the face and then just working out from there. Next I'm going to go in with my foundation and just going in with my Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation from Maybelline in the shade Creamy Beige and applying that all over the face in a thin layer. I didn't want anything too full coverage today. It's up to you what foundation you use. I just wanted something a bit more medium so I didn't apply too much of that foundation. Next for concealer I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. concealer in the shade Light Beige not a fan of the concealer actually, I find it doesn't really cover much and the colour was not quite mine, like my tone, it was a bit too pinky for me so it's not, not my favourite. Next I'm going to go in with this yellow powder from my NYX contour and highlight kit and I'm applying that under the eyes where we place that concealer around the nose area as well and also under my cheekbones to give them a bit of a lift, a bit of sculpt as well. Then I'm going to go and set that in place with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Next for brows, I'm just going to whiz through those really quickly. Voila! You guys can do your brows however you like. I'll leave the products listed down below and also leave my brow tutorial up above for you guys to check out if you would like. Otherwise, next I'm going to start contouring and bronzing the skin. So next we're going to take that same contour and highlight kit from NYX and take those two brown shades. And just start bronzing the skin with my Chi Chi Bronzer Brush. I'm going to go around the temples, cheeks, nose, jawline and down the neck as well to give it an all rounder effect. Then I'm going to go in with some blush. This is the Infatuation shade from Makeup Geek and apply that to the contours of my cheeks. For highlight today, oh, I love this highlight so much. This is the Maybelline um, Chrome Highlighter. I think that's what it's called, and it's in the shade Molten Gold. I'm applying that to the high points of my face, so my cheekbones, tip of the nose, cupid's bow, and lips. Then I'm going to go in and quickly set all that in place with my All Nighter Setting Spray again, just to lock it all in. For the eyes, I'm going to first of all go in and take my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC, and just apply that a thin layer of that all over the lid area to give a bit of a tacky base for the eyeshadows. I'm just using a Real Techniques buffer brush. First shade we're going to go in with is Buttercup from Sugar Peel. It's a gorgeous, like bright yellow shade. And I'm going in with my fluffy brush from Zoeva. This is the soft crease brush. And I'm applying a little bit at a time. So I'm building up that yellow color so that we don't have too much product and not enough room to blend. I always like to go in just a little bit at a time and blend it through. I find it's the best technique when working with colors. Next, I'm going to take Creamsicle from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's like an in-between shade of like yellow and orange. I really, really like it to help transition um, the deeper orange that we're going to go in with next. I'm just applying that through the crease. Next, I'm going to take Flame Point from Sugar Pill. It's a very, very bright orange. I absolutely love this shade. And I'm applying this with a soft definer brush from Zoeva. Just in the crease as well, but a little bit lower than what we applied the other two shades. Then I'm going to take a base for the blue shadows that we're going in with next. This is the um, Maybelline 
Tenacious Teal Eyeshadow Base. And I'm going in with an eye concealer brush to carve out my crease with the cream eyeshadow and then using my finger to kind of buff out the edges into the orange so there's no harsh lines. Then over the top I'm going to take this stunning foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called um, Pegasus and I'm applying this first of all with my chisel shader brush from Morphe and then to really keep that like nice crisp line I'm going to go in with a precise shader brush from Zoeva. Then next I'm going to go in with two shadows, one from Makeup Geek called Bitten, which is like a kind of cranberry shade, and then going to go in with this purple shade from Sugar Pill called Poison Plum. I'm going to buff those two on the outer corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take Flame Point on a pencil brush and just kind of bring that back through the crease area along the edge of Pegasus, and then going to take some of Buttercup and just blend out any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to take this stunning shadow from Morphe called Sapphire. It's a very gorgeous, like, deep blue shade, royal blue. I'm going to place that on the edge of Pegasus between, like, where we place Bitten and, like, Pegasus. So in between those shadows. And just kind of blend it in. Going back and forth between Pegasus and Sapphire to kind of get that perfect blend together. Then I'm going to take some of Bitten again and blend Sapphire into Bitten. And also go in with a bit of um, Poison Plum to deepen up the outer corner. Then I go back in with the orange shade and the yellow shade. Just kind of going back and forth and blending any harsh lines and just bringing those colours back. For eyeliner today, I'm going to first of all take my Models Prefer liner um, from Hayley Baldwin. And just line, like just create the outline of my wing. Then to fill it in, I'm going to go in with the Milani liquid liner in the shade Everlast. It's a nice deep vibrant black so I really like to use that to fill it in. And there we have it. We have our little wing. <laughs> Next on my inner corner and brow bone highlight I'm going to take the shade Beam from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and place that on my inner corner and brow bone like I said just blending those through and then I go back in with some of the um, buttercup shade and just blend out the edges of beam on the brow bone so there's no harsh lines. Next I'm taking Pegasus from Makeup Geek and Eyeshadow and I'm going to actually use this to line my waterline. If you guys have sensitive eyes I don't recommend using an eyeshadow, use a eye coal but for me it's fine so I just go in with a nice vibrant blue eyeshadow. Then next I'm going to take Bitten from Makeup Geek again and actually use this to kind of bring some definition on the bottom like lash line area. And I'm going to just kind of wiggle it against the lash line initially and then blend it out and then go back in and kind of wiggle it tightly against that lash line to just really define it up. Give that really vibrant like cranberry red on the bottom lash line. I absolutely love it. Then I go in with a clean blender brush and just buff out any harsh lines. Next I place some mascara and lashes. The mascara I'm going in with is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. And then for lashes today I'm changing it up guys. I know I'm doing something new. I'm going to go in with these ones from Icona in the style Make Him Miss Me. Such a stunning style. I absolutely love them. Next for my favourite bit, I'm going to go in with the glitter. I'm using the one from Sparkle Pig. I've got it on Etsy, so I'll leave it linked down below if I can find it. I'm just going to place some eyelash glue initially on the inner corner and then stick down like the glitter. Then I had this like little iridescent star that I wanted to place on as well. I thought that looked really cute. So that's kind of what I did for the inner corner sparkle. But yeah, you guys can do that if you want or not. It's up to you. For lips today, this is to finish off the whole look, bring it all together. I'm going to take a nude um, lip liner first of all. This is from Rimmel in the shade 049 Natural. And just line and fill in my lips. Then I go in with the lipstick. This is the Zoeva liquid lipstick in the shade Pale Plethora. A stunning like pink shade. I'm just going to basically just place that over top and that is the finished lip. So this concludes today's makeup look guys. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed it. I am so happy with how the blue turned out on the eyes. But look, it's so summer appropriate. I'm just, I'm craving the summer vibes if you guys couldn't tell. So it's for all of you guys heading into the warmer months ahead. I'm so jealous. Anyway, so uh, my camera cut out, so I'm just going to wrap up today's video now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did, and subscribe down below to my channel so you guys can join my YouTube fam. 
Otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon. I love you all so much. And thank you for watching. See you later, guys.